So, there's a video on the internet of a Tesla Model 3 crashing on autopilot. For the people who haven't seen the video yet, I'm going to show you the video first, then I'm going to explain exactly why it crashed. Oh. 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 Oh, Bobby. Oh. This is my theory. When the autopilot turns the steering wheel, the centrifugal force from the turning motion takes the car out of autopilot and makes the car think you're applying force on the steering wheel and taking over the car. Then when the car is not on autopilot and sees that you're going straight into the wall, the car warns you by beeping like crazy asking what the hell are you doing. So let me recap. The autopilot turns off right before you crash, so technically, autopilot did not crash your car because the autopilot is not on during impact. And the car is nice enough to warn you that you're about to crash. Look, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna prove it to you. This is a video of me going around a turn, and the same thing is about to happen. The turning motion is about to take the car off autopilot. I took over before it could get close enough to the wall for it to start beeping. Now let me show you this. If you strap a can of coke to the steering wheel, this won't happen. Killing Yourself, sponsored by Diet Coke. The problem is that if you actually keep any weight on the steering wheel to make it in balance, when you go into autopilot, you're a lot more likely to cause a crash anytime when the steering wheel turns into the opposite direction. I'm sure we all know what the conservation of energy is and I don't need to explain that to you guys. Anyways, that's my theory. But you guys didn't come here for theories. You guys come here for the fact. And the fact is, this guy did it to himself because he was getting his dick sucked on autopilot and that's why it crashed. Let me explain. After analyzing the video with my super advanced 3.1 gigahertz brain, I realized he was moaning the whole time. Listen to what he said right after the crash. Oh. 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 Oh, baby. Oh. He said oh baby which translates to oh baby I don't know about you but oh baby is not the sound I make when I crash my car It's either that or it's all the bad Chinese drivers that are teaching the autopilot AI to drive like shit Either way it's not Tesla's fault If you just look at the comments on the video for who I can only assume are either all Tesla engineers or have extensive unbiased knowledge of Teslas. They pinpoint exactly what he did wrong. Also, we don't like to call ourselves fanboys. We like to think of ourselves as musketeers. The tear at the end comes from knowing that no matter what happens to our Tesla, it's our fault. This guy Klaus said, it's a known fact that autopilot is not stable in hard curvy roads. I cannot agree with him more. I'm sure that's the first thing Tesla employee tells you when they tell you all the amazing features that autopilot could do. For some reason, my cell rep just forgot to bring that up to me. Oh, sorry, sorry, I meant to say he definitely told me, but I just forgot. If anything, just look at the website, it says right there. Just like it's a known fact that the leading cause of adolescent death are vehicles and firearms. So if you put your kid in a car and your 6 year old boy got shot and killed during a road range, it's kind of your fault. Also, you can't have a car crash video without some racism from homeboy Jay Miller. But the most popular comments are people saying that he should have kept his hands on the steering wheel and he had plenty of time to take over. That's right, he had plenty of time to take over. Let's watch that again. Right there, right there, see? It took him over 0.6 seconds to take over. Way too slow. You know why Tesla owners like me, Tough Kit, and Klaus doesn't crash our Tesla? Cause we live our life a quarter second at a time. Cause we family. It doesn't matter if our dick is an inch or a foot. Dick is dick. It also doesn't matter what's underneath the hood. The only thing that matters is the logo behind the steering wheel. Peace fam.
you know why Tesla owners like me, Klaus, and Tough Kid doesn't crash our Tesla? Cause we live our life a quarter second at a time. Cause we family. It doesn't matter if our dick is an inch or a foot long. Dick is dick. It also doesn't matter what's underneath the hood. The only thing that matters is the logo behind the steering wheel. Peace fam.